What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing some Aspire So What, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the channel, we also have channel membership and Patreon. Links to those are in the description. We are reviewing some Aspire So What episode 18. This episode pretty much focused on religion, and it looks like everything is connected. Everything. And for some reason, things changed in the span of 15 years. Only in 15 years, things changed. I'm, I'm going to talk about that later on, but I need to talk about this religion thing because we got the goddess sect, and we have the followers of the word. They are pretty much believing worshiping the same god earlier in the series we learned about followers of the god which is leveling up your skills so you can hear the words of god in this episode we learned about the goddess sect and they believe they can be saved when they give up skills when they offer up skills and there's this thing called skill elimination my question is where are these skills going to and why does the goddess need your skills why does the goddess need to collect it what's going on and then the words of god when you hear god it's a female voice and the goddess sect they worship a goddess so they are the same thing and then pope dustin of followers of the word just said in this episode that they worship this same god the pope said that the followers of the word and the goddess sect are the same religion and he's like saying this with a smirk it's like ha 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 how ironic we hate each other yet we both worship the same thing now my question is what happened why do you guys not like each other it's like you're both siblings and you have the same mom how did these siblings end up hating each other where did this discord come from then then we have ariel now first we had pope dustin refer to ariel as ariel sama sama that is a honorific term this is a term for someone that you think is a higher level than you someone that you admire someone someone that you respect and the followers of the word is supposed to be enemies with demons. Ariel is a demon. What happened? Like, why, why do you, why does Pope Dustin like Ariel? What? What? Then, later on, we learn about the goddess sect that the goddess had a spider servant, a divine beast. You know who has the title of Divine Beast? Ariel. Ariel has the title of Ancient Divine Beast. So we have Ariel, who is pretty good with the followers of the word and is connected with the goddess sect. What the heck? Everything is connected. Not only that, but the Pope knows about Ariel. The Pope knows about the elves. The Pope knows Potamus. I hope I'm saying that name right. I might be saying that wrong. I tend to butcher names. I'm sorry. Potamus, who is with the elves, and the elves, they seem to be doing something shady. This is 15 years ago, Komoko's time. Potamus sent out elves to go after Sophia, vampire baby. Not too sure what he was trying to do. I'm assuming he was going to kill her. I'm assuming. I'm assuming this. And Potamus knew about reincarnated people. He knew they existed and he wanted to get rid of them. That's why I thought that he was trying to kill Sophia because she's reincarnated. So he sent out his Ellis people to kill her, to destroy her. It's like he knows that the reincarnated people exist and he's trying to get rid of them. And when he sent out his elves to get rid of Sophia, Komoko interrupted. And when his men let him know that there's a spider that got in their way, 
he immediately thought of Ariel, who is a spider demon. My question is, how do you know Ariel? And in the present time, when you were in that meeting with Shun, you said you guys were trying to make peace with the demons. You guys were trying to talk with them. Now, my question is, took you 15 years to talk to them? Something shady going on. Another thing is, in Kamoko's time, Potamus seemed to have been in discord with Ariel too. Potamus was going against the followers of the word and Ariel. So Potamus, seems like you're lying in that meeting. I know you told Shum that he needed to look out on the followers of the word on the church, but you knew of it for 15 years what happened what's going on and I just remembered that Potamus said that at the meeting they were doing peace talk with the demons but when the new demon lord came about their peace talk was done the new demon lord was Ariel again I'm speculating if there was even any talk for peace was there any intention for peace because it seemed like from 15 years ago that you had no intention to be at peace. Then we got Pope Dustin from the followers of the word talking about Potamus saying that he's making things worse and apparently they got intel that elves are doing human trafficking. So he's like wondering, okay Potamus, what are you doing? Why are you kidnapping children? And that made me make a connection that Potamus was looking for the reincarnations and he's kidnapping them. That led me to think about the students that Oka Sensei said they are supposedly dead? Bruh, did Potamus kill them off? Like, what's going on? Then that made me think, okay, now I know where Oka Sensei got her secretiveness, her suspiciousness. She got it from Potamus because Potamus is totally being shady, totally being suspicious. Like, I can't trust elves. We can't trust elves, guys. I don't trust them. You trust them? I don't trust them. So from 15 years ago, we had elves kidnapping kids, doing human trafficking, to later on, later in 15 years, to saying don't trust the church, and kind of helping Shun and his friends who are reincarnated, and Oka Sensei is reincarnated. So Potamus, what made you change? What happened? You were looking for reincarnated people, and I think you were trying to kill them off. Sophia is my example to 15 years later to helping them. Then we got the church 15 years ago. It looks like you're watching out on the elves, monitoring them, ready to stop them on whatever's to 15 years later, trying to manipulate Hugo, saying that he's a hero, and march off to an elf village and destroy it? Bruh, what happened? This episode started off with Sophia, and I think I know why, because in a previous episode, she killed off Potamus. In the present time, she killed off Potamus. Now I know why, because the elves were trying to kill her, and it seemed like something happened, because she was saying that Shun had it good while she suffered. So I'm wondering, when she was a baby, or as a kid, did the followers of the word and did the elves do something to her home that made her suffer because it seems like she doesn't like humans or elves and that's why she sided with demons not because she's a vampire but because they did something to her and i want to know what and why and that's my review of soma spider so what episode 18 what did you think about this episode what did you think about this video let me know in the comments below and if you want to talk outside of youtube there is a discord discord link is available in the description i also stream on twitch.tv slash lihuosuberfina people who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation you guys are more than welcome outside of youtube and twitch i also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime manga and other things we're interested in if you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lei Hua and this was a Super Fina channel reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 18. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. 
If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump.